Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about my trip to Poland because that's where I was not that long ago. Let me tell you this, it was a one amazing experience, especially I wasn't there for the last five years for a variety of reasons. I'll tell you a lot about uh, the food, quality of food and how to be carnivore uh, in Poland. And if you are new to this channel, I am a, a carnivore diet coach. So if you are looking uh, to reverse uh, chronic disease with uh, dietary intervention, this is a channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell and let's get to today's video. As some of you may know, I was born in Krakow. And so setting that aside, there is still something very special in that city. If you just walk down the streets of the old town Krakow, there is something magical that happens. You enjoy it more than any other city. And I know there are glorious cities in the world, like London and Paris are much bigger, much fancier, but there is something magical if you walk down the main square in Krakow or go through the King's Tract. It's almost like you are going back in time and almost feel the energy of people that were walking those streets back then in 11, 12, 13, 14, 15th century. It is a one amazing experience and so if you are uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe, be sure to visit Krakow. And this is Mariatsky Cathedral. I think it was built over centuries. And I think they started it sometime in the 13th century. And this is the most beloved Polish river, Wisła. Oh, in English I think it is Vistula. So this is underneath the Krakow Castle, Wawel. The biggest difference between food here in North America and in Poland, and I assume in the rest of Europe as well, that the food in Europe just tastes better. And that because there are many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that they just don't allow as many preservatives uh, and additives as there are allowed here in North America. So there are no fillers, most of the food colorings are banned and other preservatives are deemed uh, dangerous. For example, you cannot have chicken being rinsed with chlorine in Europe, whereas in here it is okay. So there is a big difference in the way the food is um, made, grown and prepared in Europe versus here and you will definitely notice it not only in the flavor of food, but also in your waistline. And actually, there is a whole bunch of mainstream articles that will talk just about that. The people from North America will go on vacation to Europe and after two weeks of eating bread, pasta, crackers, uh, pizzas and donuts and croissants, they come back here, they get on the scale and in fact they will lose weight. And besides the additives and food preservatives, I think one other thing that plays the role in this weight loss and weight gain is that over there in Europe, they still have ancestral wheat that is not hybridized and modified to be able to tolerate this nasty chemical, chemical glyphosate, which in most countries in Europe is banned. But the best news is it's really easy to be carnivore in Poland. 
And that's because most of the Polish traditional cuisine revolves around eating meat, because what else would you do during a really cold winter in Poland? Um, you have to hunt some animal to survive. And they really mastered the art of uh, making pork in 25,000 different ways. It's almost impossible to get pork in whatever form that doesn't taste great if you are going to the restaurants. Now, when it comes to beef, they're more used to making it into stews or uh, escalopes or make it in the sauces. Uh, they're not quite good at making it the American way where it is uh, cooked as steak or as um, burger patty. Especially when it comes to burger patties, if you want to order burger, it's really a hidden miss. Like you gotta go to different places and try because it wasn't customary to serve ground beef as burgers in Poland. But now that we receive so many uh, international people, uh, they're trying to make uh, burgers and they gain in popularity. So some places you'll get a good burger and others not so much, but they're improving. Things are getting better when it comes to beef patties in Poland. So my day would typically start at home and I would be preparing breakfast and almost always there would be eggs in one way or another. And it's really easy to get good quality eggs in the Polish supermarkets as well. Or you can go to the family owned uh, stores or even to the uh, street markets and get uh, eggs straight from the farm. It's really easy to get good quality cold cuts in Poland and also breakfast sausages. Um, you can buy a conventional sausage and it doesn't have about 80% of the stuff that is added to the sausages here. Like here you really have to be strategic where you buy your sausage, uh, is it organic, um, like for example to get a good quality hot dogs for my kids I only have to buy them from butcher box whereas you can go to a regular supermarket in, uh, in Poland and there is a section for children with uh, organic clean uh, meats just for children so the hot dogs are made uh, purely out of beef uh, and pork ham it's quite amazing another thing that you will notice about cold cuts in uh, poland is that their um, time frame uh, in which they can be consumed uh, is really short because they don't add those preservatives so if we didn't eat um, ham or sausage within a couple of days um, my mom would just throw it out for lunches we were typically going to a restaurant and again it's very easy to order good quality food. I was mostly going for uh, pork, either pork cutlets, uh, pork escalopes or ribs. I got the full rack of ribs one day and I ate it all and it was absolutely delicious. When it comes to your side dishes, it will be usually some form of fermented cabbage. Um, or some type of other salad that comes from cooked vegetables because those uneducated traditional people somehow knew about lectins and that you had to do something to the vegetable to make it more edible. The starch of choice is uh, potato. You will almost get it. It could be cooked differently. The one that you are watching here in the picture, it is cooked potato, then mashed and then uh, spiced with pepper and salt and with some eggs and then just rolled into the bowls and then cooked in a fat. Um, but there are many different ways. And that's another thing that uh, I was thinking about. Uh, even in the countries that there is a lot of starch consumption, if it's not wheat, people don't get this fat. Another country that is eating tons and tons of carbohydrates is Japan, but because it's rice and it doesn't have gluten in it, like here in the United States, we mostly eat wheat as the starch of choice. Um, that's another reason why Americans are a lot more overweight than their counterparts elsewhere in the world. So it's really easy to eat out and healthy in Poland. If you're on the carnivore diet, eat the meat. If you want to make sure it is always uh, tasting delicious, go for pork. You are taking a little bit of a gamble if you are trying to get good quality beef patties. You may have more luck with the steak. 
And then if you're on the low carb, ketogenic, then you can eat your fermented cabbage with your meat. And if you are gluten-free or into Western price way of eating, eat the whole plate and everybody will be happy. Now, if you want to be vegetarian or vegan, it is really challenging to get that going in Poland. Even though you find in the supermarkets nowadays the whole slew of this crazy plant milks and plant-based foods, but even when you go to a restaurant and they say to you that this is vegetarian, you will usually be offered pierogies or pancakes, but they're still made traditional way, so they just don't have the meat in them, but they're usually cooked in animal fat. Uh, or there is always some egg yolk sneaked in into the dough. <laughs> Most dinners we were eating at home or at our friends, and again, plenty of meat to choose from. Uh, either my mom was cooking or my friends were cooking or we were cooking. And again, beef is plentiful, but they really know how to make pork and we were eating it in all kinds of ways. Oh, and Poland has its own version of cheesecake. It's made from cottage cheese, tons of eggs, egg yolks and sugar. That's about 90% of what makes up that cake. There are some different variations, but most of them will have those three ingredients. And I had some of that. I normally don't eat dairy. For those of you that don't know me, uh, I had suffered from rheumatoid arthritis and I reversed it with a carnivore diet, but without dairy. And generally I stay away from dairy, but in Poland I made an exception and I had that cake and I was convinced that the next day there will be problems. I was ready with my zeolite spray, but nothing happened. And then I had another piece of cheesecake a day after and again, nothing happened. And I was eating that cheesecake pretty much throughout my whole vacation and nothing happened to my joints. So I don't know if it's a quality of dairy is better there in Poland, or is it that my gut permeability got restored to the point that I can handle dairy now? I wouldn't be able to tell because I'm too scared to eat dairy in New York. I'll have every now and then a tablespoon or two of kefir that I make myself from a raw A2 milk, but that's about it. I have a friend here in New York that has colitis and can't eat anything with gluten here in New York, but when he goes back to Europe, specifically to Switzerland, he's okay eating pasta over there and has no uh, upset in his bowels. And so I was thinking maybe I should try uh, anything that has wheat uh, over there in Poland, but I was tempted, but I didn't really want to go completely of my uh, carnivore diet. And um, so I didn't find out. So I can't report back whether uh, wheat uh, was okay for me there uh, and is not good here because I just didn't have it. Another thing worth mentioning, people there really move along with the season, so they will eat fruit and a lot of it, but as it comes in season. So when we were there, uh, fresh strawberries was the thing. There were strawberries everywhere. Literally on the side of the road, you could get a uh, basket of strawberries. And in the supermarkets, there were some strawberries imported from Tunisia and from Spain, but nobody would touch them. <laughs> So this sums up my uh, trip to Poland. It was a really amazing and a restorative uh, experience for me. It was so great to connect with my family and friends. My sons really loved it for both of them. It was their first time in Poland. Uh, my husband been there a few times before, but uh, he never seen it during summer and he really loved it as well. In fact, we were talking how to organize our lives so that we could spend portion of the year over there in Krakow. That would have been amazing. Anyway, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that notification bell. And it is really easy to be carnivore in Poland. I will see you in my next video. Bye.